So welcome back again folks, this is Anthony Valentine, your camping nerd. Today I'm going to be showing you around this 2003 Roma Home High Low. Quite a very useful vehicle. Uh, the high low means it can go high and it can come low. When it's in the low format as it is in the moment, you can go under multi-storey car parks, low barriers, use it as a car basically. And obviously I'll show you, in fact I'll demonstrate that now very straightforward. The, on the back it's just got two clips either side and this will come up very straightforward so I'll just undo the two clips and pop that roof up. One clip on the passenger side, one clip on the driver's side and then just very easy one hand can do it and that'll uh, pop up and very straightforward. I'll just demonstrate bringing it back down again because there's no right or wrong way to do this but sometimes if you bring it down you'll get a little bit of yeah there it is a bit of the side netting so all you do is one hand there just push the netting in and the same on the other side but let's uh, have it up now there we go so yeah very nice good condition uh, on this side we've got the gas bottle it's just had a habitation certificate, so it's just had a new gas regulator and gas pipe fitted. So we've got the camping gas bottle in there. We've got the mains hookup lead, as you can see, plugged in now to demonstrate the fridge working. Just pulling around to the other side. So the same cupboard on this side. I say the last owner, the son-in-law, he spent a lot of time in France, so he's got the mains hookup lead here, and it's got the French conversion. There's the standard UK conversion, and there's the hookup lead. Yeah, body works lovely. I don't think there's much really to report negative. Uh, it's got the remote central locking, electric windows. That only works on the front two doors, you've got a separate key for the leisure door. electric windows, power steering. Uh, oh, well I'm here, I'll just pop the bonnet on the uh, passenger side. It's got the good old trusty 1.9 Peugeot engine. You won't be winning at any races, but it'll last for a long time that. Well known in the industry. I drove it back 200 miles, drove without fault, so I'll be happy to deliver this anywhere in the United Kingdom. Just pick up the phone, my name's Anthony Valentine, 0798 526 1078. But if you look under the link, the link to the advert is under this video, and that'll show you over 100 resolution HD resolution pictures, as well as the, this video and all the description. Okay, so uh, without further ado, I think it's time to take you inside. Oh, by the way, just before I forget, this is the uh, table. So it's got the freestanding table that fits inside, but obviously you can use it in the summer outside. And you've got the thermal cover to use. It acts as a thermal cover as well as the curtains for the front windows. Okay, let's show you inside. Stepping inside. I'll just span back with the uh, camera first. We've got a couple of stains to the roof here, isolated spot here, so I'll see if we can uh, get those cleaned up for you. We'll do our best. So yes, the last owner, uh, well his father-in-law bought it brand new. I've never seen this before, that filling cushion on a Roma home, and I have supplied lots of Roma homes. So he must have had that um, specially made brand new with the matching upholstery. So all that is with a couple of the slats that make out the bed. Uh, and clearly you can see this, which just made a little U-shaped lounge. Quite a nice feature, actually. So yeah, the bed on these, very straightforward. There's some more slats above the cab there, just while we're up here. That's the bed extender. So 
uh, the driver's seat which goes slightly forward the passenger seat folds down and creates a table and that bed extender will go on there and that'll give you an extra oh, I'd say six seven eight inches there and that's some people use it some people don't but it's there if you need it so yeah just a couple of those slats and they go under there the four master cushions as it were pull together and very straightforward these just flop into place and creating a large double bed or you have actually got the facility of folding that down and creating two single beds on the leisure windows we've got the blackout and thermal blinds as well as the fly nets master control panel so that operates the pump as well as the leisure battery on the leisure battery as it were as well using all the lights on the leisure battery which is underneath the passenger seat and the mains charger so it can be plugged in on mains that'll charge up the leisure battery as well as keeping your fridge super cold on the dashboard it has one button there for the fridge you just operate that press that in and then when you're driving the fridge will work and operate on the engine battery so it's a three-way fridge as you can see the green lights lit there so that's charging or fridging as it were now on mains electricity when you're driving as long as you've got that yellow button pushed in on the dashboard this will light up and that will fridge on the 12 volt on the engine battery and here you've got the gas system so we just flick the sparker there turn it round switch the gas on pull that in and there you go the gas has stopped or the lighter has stopped so the igniter has lit the pilot light we can hold that in for a few seconds let go and now it's stopped igniting it's a bit tricky with the camera but the pilot light is lit there nice little three-way fridge with a freezer compartment so i'll just demonstrate a gust of wind that's you always leave that igniter on because if there was a gust of wind it would automatically relight the gas pilot light so that's a safety feature so we'll just uh, demonstrate that we'll just turn the gas off and there's the igniter starting again so you can switch the gas on and off at the camping gas bottle but you've got two override bottle uh, switches there so in the back kitchen area you've got the two burner hob the electric igniter I'll just see if i can get the other one lit there you go a bit tricky to show you the uh, grill i'll try my best struggle here I'm doing my best but can you get oh you can just about see the grill there so that's the grill working switch them off nice clean grill pan rear blackout blind a small curtain for the leisure door so coming round you've got a, a cupboard above the sink so you've got a cold running sink and that just goes into the sink there. Now, this is a, a porta potty. It's been designed by Roma Home, so that can just pull up. So you've got the whole height there. That just lifts up, goes into its space there. And that's a quite a nice feature, and that can be removed or replaced if you wish. I'll just put that back into place. So that can be removed out if you wish to use the toilet. Yeah, the uh, all the side netting for the pop tops in nice condition. We'll just see what we can do if we can. Uh, I only just noticed those. It's not too bad. It's just a little bit of stain in there. I'm probably being fussy. It's 17 years old. So on the back kitchen, you've got both of these that will uh, just create a bit more kitchen space. Now I just noticed before, it's just got a little bit of damage here, a bit of marking here. So I'll see if I can get that done for you. I'll see if we can get that uh, fixed up. Just a shame to uh, have it, because everything else is so nice. Okay then, so just to recap, step back outside. So it's a 2003 Roma Home High Low. 
it's got the 1.9 diesel engine very trustworthy Peugeot diesel engine anybody who knows about these knows they'll go on forever so it's on the Citroen Berlingo I've got it booted in for an EMOT next week and I've instructed the garage to give it a pre-MOT and if it wants any advisory items to complete those it's just been serviced it's only had the two owners from new both from the same family son-in-law and father-in-law it's just had a habitation check with a new gas regulator and gas pipe to conform to the latest gas regulations and I'd be happy to deliver this anywhere in the country so there's the table again freestanding table that goes inside and that's the thermal blinds to go on the front so my name's Anthony Valentine the camper nerd you can get me on 0798 526 1078 and if you look below this video it'll have the link to the eBay advert and that will show you over a hundred pictures in high resolution but I'll, as always I'll be happy to answer any questions again thanks for watching and I'll catch you on that next video over and out for now guys <laughs>